Well, new details tonight at 6 about a former Hilliard Darby High School teacher now charged with the sexual battery of a former female student. The incident happened more than a decade ago, but the teacher just recently resigned. In a story you'll see only here on 10 TV, the victim of the incident spoke with our Ashley Bernanson. She says she wanted to share her story with the hope of helping others. Ashley is live in studio tonight with this story, Ashley. Well, Andrew, the former teacher in question, Brian Taunty, resigned his position at the end of last year, and the school district says they don't know of any other allegations involving him. Nicole Kiefer, the former student, tells me trauma does not have a timeline, and victims should be able to share their story whenever they feel comfortable. She says victim blaming is why many victims stay silent, and she wants to share her story to encourage others to do so as well. There's things you black out. There's things that you just need to process when your mind is fully developed. It's been over a decade since Nicole Kiefer attended Hilliard Darby High School, but memories are etched in her brain forever. Her experience, she says, wasn't like other students. I feel like my entire senior year was fake. The things that I felt were because of his grooming and his manipulation. Kiefer says as an adult, she is finally processing that she was sexually assaulted by an educator. And the experience that I had was not normal. It was not healthy. It was not safe. According to Franklin County Municipal Court records, 48-year-old Brian Taunty and Kiefer were involved in a sexual relationship during the 2010-2011 school year, and it carried into her college years. Taunty is a former English teacher and theater director at Hilliard Darby High School. Kiefer says the relationship started off innocently, but then quickly escalated with texts and written letters then meetups before and after school. You know, and saying, and, you know, you're a special student, you're a special student. Well, then you're a special someone for me and you are someone special to me. On her 18th birthday during her senior year, she says Taunty pursued the physical relationship. And then it's, you know, let me show you how I feel about you in a more physical, intimate way. Kiefer says her background made her an easy target for grooming. Didn't have, you know, my parents were going through their divorce. I didn't have eyes on me. I was not confident. Sexual violence specialist Susan Wismar didn't want to address this case specifically, but she says grooming is a manipulation tactic used through coercion. It is when we have this in isolation, when we have adult and child relationships in privacy and isolation, that these behaviors can go unnoticed. Kiefer says she didn't feel comfortable telling anyone. He taught me how to be deceitful. He taught me to, how to keep information from other adults, how to, you know, hide things, lie for him. Kiefer says she was encouraged to finally come forward after watching a documentary recently outlining stories similar to hers. Put on like my straight face of put the emotions behind and fight. Lillian Howard from LSS Choices, a national domestic violence hotline, says it can take victims of sexual assault and violence years to share their story. Our brains heal and deal with trauma differently as well. So for many people, a lot of times they, when it happens, you just kind of walk away uh, and forget about it. And then uh, something triggers it uh, and it, it comes back to you. Kiefer hopes her story encourages change in and out of the classroom. There needs to be conversations about what a healthy safe relationship looks like. And I will tell you, as an educator, there are children who just gravitate towards you and they need a solid role model because they don't have that when they leave the school. Hilliard Police tells me this is the only active investigation at this time involving Taunty. I did connect with his lawyer, Mark Collins, who says he's unable to provide comment until Taunty's court appearance Thursday morning. For 10TV News, I'm Ashley Bornanson.